Hey guys, this is Steve and Corey at T2. Welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. So, we left off here with a pencil which we couldn't get past. Oh, and by the way, off screen, I sold off the yo yo that we had before with the for sale sign because we're not going to need it anymore because it's kind of useless. Oh, uh, let's fight. Uh, I'll have to fight the sprouts. I want to show you that fight. But anyway, here's a little UFO again. Um, one thing I did mention earlier is that, yeah, exactly what just happened right there. Not only can you shoot beams, but you can also shoot a beam that will get, give you a cold. And that's kind of like your poison, kind of, in a way. Like, you lose damage after each turn. But if you ever get a cold, it's just best to, like, cure the cold after the battle, or else you'll waste a turn in battle, uh, trying to heal it. Um, so if you use a cold remedy, well, I'm gonna use it just to increase some space. But you could also uh, use uh, Healing Alpha to get rid of it as well. So now I'm going to fight this guy, which is the Mobile Sprout. And you got to be pretty careful with these, because these, uh, these guys are quite similar to... Um, yeah, see, they're quite similar to the Black Antoid, where they could call for help in a way. But what they could do is PSI Magnet Alpha, which we just did right now, and Drain PP for me. So also be very careful with that. Um, but in this area, there's quite a lot of butterflies, so uh, you shouldn't be worried too much about PP. And look at that, we gained a level, level 13. No special skills just yet. So, we're in, we have to head back to Tucson, because there's this pencil in the way and we can't get past it. And there's someone who could help us here. And let's head back to Tucson, we'll see who it is that will help us. Oh, look at that, we get a phone call. Hello, this is the Apple Kid. I've just finished working on this green invention. Get over here as fast as you can. This thing is so cool. See you soon. Slam, beep. So, hmm. What a coincidence. Uh, Apple Kid has something up his sleeve there. Ooh, oh, okay, okay, okay. We're probably not going to need a hotel if we just do this. Heal, and then do this, and get the pizza mat. I was gonna be, I was gonna go heal at the hotel, but luckily I found a butterfly, so I don't think that's necessary. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it doesn't heal all my PP. Uh, well, I guess that's all. I guess that's all right. I don't really need that much. So you head this way, and um, don't go straight to Apple Kid's house. Um, actually, before you go to Apple Kid, hit the Polestar Preschool. Uh, this is where Paula lives, so upstairs and talk to this guy. This is Paula's dad. So you want to see Paula? Many come here to see your miraculous powers, but they're just leeches. So, are you from a TV station or what? Uh, no, I'm just a kid. To meet you or not to meet you, you can only be decided by Paula. Paula has said that she would only meet with a boy named Ness. Oh, wait, you're Ness. You're the one that was in Paula's dream. You'll save the world. Let me go call Paula. Uh-oh. He ran down the stairs fast. She doesn't seem to be here. I wonder where she went. I'm sorry, could you come back later? Oh, uh, that's not great. Wait, let me check. I'm sure she's not hiding in a drawer or something. Come on. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Teddy bear inside. Okay, she's not here, but here is another mechanic of the game. We have a teddy bear. Um, what a teddy bear does is he acts as like a... kind of like a shield for the party. So let's say you confront some enemies. Um, they have quite a high chance of actually hitting the teddy bear instead of your party members, which is really neat. So the more teddy bears, the better, I guess. You could also buy some at the department store if you wish. Oh, another one. Nice. It looks like we're not going to need to go to the hotel. Perfect. Okay, so you want to hit the Burton Park again. And if you just keep on going southwest, Apple Kid will be here with his little mouse. I'm feeling really out of it because I've been working all night. Finally, the pencil eraser is ready. This machine will eradicate all pencil shaped figures in just one second. It's incredibly powerful. Just don't use it near a shop that sells pencils. Here, it's yours now. And there we go, we get the pencil eraser. If I invent some other brilliant item, I'll call you. So, obviously, this is what we're going to use to get rid of that weird pencil that's blocking our way. Pretty simple right there. Um, so, now that we have the teddy bear, we're fully healed. Which is unexpected because uh, I, I thought we were going to use the hotel. And if you go to the hotel and you rest up there, 
Um, you're gonna get a little dream sequence with like Paula trying to talk to you, which is kind of interesting. Oh, whoa! I didn't even see that rambling in the mushroom right there. Anyway, just just get rid of this quickly. And it, see, he, there is the instance of the enemy attacking the whoa the bear instead of us. And that was a 110 HP damage smash attack. That's just awesome. Okay, so let's just continue on this way with our little teddy bear. That looks so cool, our teddy bear. Yeah, I don't want to fight that mushroom. Just try to avoid mushrooms at all costs. I mean, well, you, you can fight them. Mushroomizing doesn't really matter that much because um, in the entrance of Peaceful Rest Valley or whatever you want to call this place, um, there's a girl there who will cure your mushroomization or whatever you want to call it. So now what we're going to be doing in Peaceful Rest Valley is we're going to be collecting some items because we can get past the um, pencil eraser this time. And we're going to end up in, uh, I believe it's called Happy Happy Village. I'm not 100% sure on that one, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. Um, I'm not suggesting that you grind. There's no real reason to grind unless you feel like it. But I'm just gonna fight all the people that I have to fight because I really don't want to grind on these enemies. They're kind of annoying, if you ask me. But I mean, one mile, mobile sprug is 133 experience, which I guess is that bad. Wow, we managed to dodge that UFO and that sprout. And I'm about this UFO, so let's just fight it. Uh, we caught another cold. This is horrible. Oh well, thank god for healing Alpha. Oh, I missed. This is just wonderful. But at least most of his attacks are attacking the bear, so... The bear is the bear's really helpful, but he has a limited amount of HP, so he might be destroyed very soon. Uh, before I do anything, get rid of that cold. And let's continue. Uh, sprouts. Ah, uh, two of them. Uh, okay, that fight was quite long. We gave 399 screens. So you go to your goods, use the pencil eraser, and presto, the pencil gets erased. Simple as that. Uh, no, no, I don't go that way. 